do these Russians look pagan to you? I mean, you know, do they? I'm from Texas, so shooting of guns is good, wholesome family fun. Russians love to eat it with caviar. Yuck. They're gonna set winter on fire. Don't quote me on that. I don't, I don't know. Stuff I hear. Three, two, one. I like it. I am in Muranova. This is in Moscow region. This is outside the city of Moscow. And we are at a Mazlanitsa celebration. Mazlanitsa, definitely a pagan ritual that celebrates the end of winter and the coming of spring. Typical Russian festivities to celebrate Mazlanitsa. Nothing but family activities, plenty of snow activities for kids. Uh, there's snowboarding, snow sleds. Oh, and there's some guns going off. Right over there. Some machine gun action there for you gun lovers. There are vendors selling anything from homemade uh, crafts, handmade crafts, handmade clothes, dolls, anything that deals with Mazlanitsa. There's sausages, uh, smoked fish, There's even a chaburashka. This is one of the favorite activities for Russian families, especially during spring. Now, Maslanitsa is the week that runs right before Lent. And so Lent, I believe, begins tomorrow. I'm not sure in Russian Orthodox. Don't, don't quote me on that. I don't, I don't know. Stuff I hear. Anyway, what do you think? What do you think? Do these Russians look pagan to you? I mean, you know, do they? They don't look very pagan to me. There is snowmobiling for those who want to pay for a ride. And of course, you've got all of those hills back there where you can ride on your snowmobile. And then kids here learning to uh, sword fight, pretend sword fight. Like they did in the olden pagan days. This is a pagan festival, I think. They're gonna set winter on fire to signal bringing in spring for Mazlanitsa. And we're gonna we're gonna bring that to you as soon as it happens. Have you been to a Mazlanitsa celebration? Uh, would you come to a celebration like this? A pagan celebration, to be sure. This is my first Mazlanitsa. I had pancakes for breakfast this morning. Now we are here at Moranova. There are some traditions in Mazlanitsa, and one of them is the burning of an effigy of winter. I've never seen it, I've only heard of it. I get to see it today, you get to see it too. And uh, they're gonna burn this effigy, which symbolizes the burning of winter and the uh, coming of spring. 
for the birth of spring. So this is going to be really, really cool. Now, Russians typically celebrate Maslanitsa also by eating blini, which is Russian pancakes. Now these Russian pancakes, of course, they're round and they spread butter on them. Uh, I love pancakes really with just honey or some sort of jam, but Russians love to eat it with caviar. Yuck! <laughs> some people would uh, eat it with caviar, they stuff it with potatoes, they stuff it with meat, minced meat, uh, just whatever. I mean, you can put whatever you want in uh, your blini. Like I said, I just like mine with just honey or jam, some sort of homemade jam. You're such a liar. And so one of the other traditions of Maslanitsa is these family festivities, these family festivals that occur during Maslanitsa. And so it's just good family, wholesome fun. Yeah, shooting of guns. I'm, I'm from Texas, so shooting of guns is good, wholesome family fun. <laughs> so glad Russians enjoy it too. Big, bad winter. Do you celebrate any pagan uh, rituals? Have you ever burned an effigy like Maslanitsa? If you have, write it down in the comments. We want to hear about it. And tell me where you're watching from, because I think it's cool to know what are some of the rituals that you have in your culture? What do you do in your country? Do you burn Mazanita? Hmm? Burn, baby, burn. And this is Fyodor House. This is the house of Russian poem author Fyodor. Chuchov. And it is in front of these grounds that this Mazanitsa celebration is happening. I came here last uh, autumn. It was absolutely beautiful. But um, I wasn't, I didn't have, well, I did have a YouTube channel, but I just wasn't producing content at the time. Fedor Chuchov. A friend was telling me that these Maslanitsa festivities for families is a rather new tradition uh, in modern Russian culture. This was extremely popular in Russian village life. So many Russians who are in adulthood now, like the parents that you see with their kids here, when they were young, uh, if they were living in uh, a large city, a metro city like Moscow, there was no Maslanitsa. But when they went to the villages or dachas to visit, you know, grandparents and the older extended families, this is where they would celebrate Mazanitsa. And they would burn the effigy, they would eat the blini. Here lately, say in the last maybe 10, 15 years, Russian government has been uh, sponsoring a lot of these cultural enrichment programs to bring back the traditions of old, the Russian traditions that have existed for not just during the times of the USSR, but going back hundreds, if not a thousand years. And to make these more mainstream, to make them a uh, part of modern Russian culture. And I think it's fantastic. I love it. I love to see cultural enri enrichment programs like this. And uh, I, I think this is great. So, Mazdanitsa.
pig its spirit is on fire. <laughs> came out today and Muranaba and it was a lovely lovely afternoon and you can see right down there is where we were there at Muranaba so what did you guys think about Maslanitsa tell me down in the comments and tell me, um, do you have any pagan rituals <laughs> in your uh, in your neck of the woods, in your culture? What is pagan, and maybe what is uh, Christian? But I will tell you, even though it was a pagan ritual, all I saw was families enjoying each other and sharing food and laughs and smiles on children's faces. I mean, this is what it's all about. And this is what family life in Russia is like. Is it what you thought it was? Anyway, from Mudanova, Moscow region, Russia, this is Ed, the Moscow photographer, saying, Baka. <laughs>